discuss about mitochondria, which is a very important cell organism. It is also called powerhouse of the cell or ATP factories, which I am going to discuss in this video only. Okay. Now this is the diagram of mitochondria. It is present inside the cytoplasm. That's why it is called cytoplasmic organelle. Now see the discovery part. In the year 1857, Albert von Kolliker discovered mitochondria. Later on, in the year 1886, there was another scientist called Richard Altman. He has given the term bioblast, which means life germ. It was again renamed by Carl Bender as mitochondria. This organel acts like a digestive system because cellular respiration takes place inside this cell, inside the cell and ATP synthesis takes place inside mitochondria. part as you can see there are two layers it is first of all oval or rod shape as you can see it's oval or rod shape and the size from 0.5 micron to 10 micron it varies in per cell like in RBC you won't get you won't see mitochondria but in liver cells it is hundred or even thousand mitochondria per cell it is present in cytoplasm that's why it is called cytoplasmic organelle and it has got double membrane. As you can see this red one is called outer membrane and the blue one is called inner membrane. Between these two membranes there is a space that is called intermembrane space. This double layer outer membrane as well as inner membrane is made up of phospholipid. Phosphorus plus lipid fat molecules. Let's discuss about the outer membrane this one. This is freely permeable. It allows every molecules, all the molecules to get inside. But it contains special channels for transporting large molecules. That channels are called porins. Now, these large molecules can be sugar or can be phosphatase. It can pass through it very easily since this layer is freely permeable. Come to the second layer that is called inner membrane. Let's see the inner membrane. Now this inner membrane is less, less permeable, allows only small molecules. It bends into many folds, many finger like projection. These are finger like projection. These finger like projection is called Christi. Christi is a plural form. Christa is a single Christi. Inside the inner membrane, as you can see, these red red dots, this is DNA. Since it is present inside the mitochondria, it is called mitochondrial DNA and matrix. This is a central mass. Inside this matrix, there are many enzymes which are important for the synthesis of ATP. Now, this part, the inner membrane, it has got lots of enzymes as I've discussed and here the crepe cycle takes place which releases energy. Now structure part is finished. With the function of mitochondria. Now Glycolysis is breakdown of glucose which takes place inside the cytoplasm. Now after glycolysis there is one more cycle called Krebs cycle. 
which takes place inside this matrix of mitochondria and at the end it releases energy which is called ATP. Now apart from this there is mitochondrial DNA present in the matrix as you can see this beaded structure. It has inherited from mother from egg cell of mother which donate the majority of cytoplasm to the embryo. Now this DNA is similar to bacterial DNA that is prokaryotic cell. Now in this DNA there are 37 genes are present. Now come to the important part synthesizing of ATP or the energy. Now acetyl coenzyme is the last product of glycolysis. Now this acetyl coenzyme it enters inside this matrix of mitochondria. Now this synthesizes energy and one more cycle which is called ETC electron transport chain takes place in Christi. This finger like pro projection is called Christi and they produce free energy used in phosphorylation means ADP plus phosphate is going to transform into ATP. This ATP is called currency of cell. This ATC takes place here in this Christi and Krebs cycle takes place in the matrix of mitochondria because enzymes which helps in producing many changes it's present in matrix of the mitochondria. Ultimately, ATP synthesis takes place, that is a adenosine triphosphate. So here, the foot transformed into ATP. What is ATP? It is energy by enzyme present in cytoplasm, which I have discussed, that is glycolysis, and the enzyme present in mitochondria, that is matrix, as well as Christi. Now see, something very important. Lack of mitochondria is there in oxymonad. It is a eukaryotic cell, but mitochondria is absent. Features of mitochondria indicate its shape. It share an evolutionary past with prokaryotes, as I have discussed with, because it resembles DNA resemble like bacteria, which is also a prokaryote. fast we we have discussed about mitochondria which is a cytoplasmic cell organism it has got two layers outer layer is called outer membrane inner layer is called inner membrane in between there is a space that is called inner intermembrane space now inside the inner membrane there is a matrix present which is called central mass apart from matrix there is mitochondrial DNA and the inner membrane folded like a finger like projection which is called Christi and the shape of the mitochondria is oval or rod shape. Now this matrix it has got many enzymes which is very important in TCA cycle that is called tricarboxylic acid or Krebs cycle which is present which takes place inside the matrix of the mitochondria and this Christi like projection finger like projection here electron transport chain takes place. So this is all about mitochondria. Thank you.